Well, folks, that's it. Summer's over. See you next year. <laughs> Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment? Get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Ah, what a horrible day it is. Freezing cold. What is it there? 10 degrees. And I'm, I, I tell you what, I'm not off glad that I didn't plant out the uh, ochre. I'm going to wait till June for that, like. Because, like I say, it wouldn't have liked it. It's been, it was freezing cold yesterday. It hasn't stopped raining since four o'clock yesterday afternoon and it doesn't look like it's going to stop any time in the future very soon either so that's going to scoop up my plans of getting everything out on the weekend or on bank holiday monday so if not let's see what happens um i'm going to show you a few things though what i've been doing because i have been doing a little bits and bobs so I'll get on with that after I've had my cuppa. Catch us in a bit. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to the show on this rainy day. Dave's going to show you how to get rid of mare's tail a day because it's a nightmare if you don't get rid of it. Ain't that right, Dave? Aye, that's right, Willie. So, like Willie says, oh, had, we had then, had then. I've zoomed out a bit too close. Right. As Willie said there, got to get rid of Mare's tail before it turns into a nightmare. So, while I was just preparing this bed here for the peppers, eventually. Excuse me, Willie, I will have to move you. No problem, dude, just get rid of that Mare's tail. I will, I'll stick you there with your mates get tucked in right anyway mare's tail is a nightmare that's mare's tail as you can see a little bit of the root has got into here somehow I think that's somehow so the best way to get rid of it because you see this one here now I've left it it's grew another one it's all coming from the same same stem what you've got to do is dig down as far as you can and get as much of it out as you can don't just pull the tops off because that's no good it goes down quite deep right there so as you can see that's quite a deep root there get rid of it same with this one, dig down as far as you can and ease it up, then hopefully you can get to the, the main root where it's coming from, right that's, that's it. You ain't growing nowhere. That was, that was a terrible impression of uh, Elvis Presley there. Right, so mare's tail is out. The best thing now to get rid of that is to just burn it. It's pointless trying to use any sort of weed killer. It might work for a little bit, but it'll just come back, man. Weed killer, can I get that far down into the ground? So anyway, just a little tip there for you. It's the same with bindweed. I just, because there's a little bit of bindweed there, I've just noticed as well. There. Same with that, get it out. Best way, instead of just pulling it from the top there. Get down deep. See that's got a good hole there somewhere. 
like I say, the actual roots can go on forever. And you'll never get rid of it all. But as long as you get massive bits out like that at a time, it hasn't got a chance. Keep on top of it, folks. Keep on top of it. Season a bit. Right, here's another little job that I can do today since it's raining outside. And the, uh, plus as well, these tomatoes need to go into the ground. Um, so what I've done, this is how I do it. This is how I do it. Um, I've cut the bottom of one of these buckets here. I've cut the bottom off it. And I've sunk it into the ground. And I've got them, the bit, the good old Hugh Max. So I'll put a little bit of that on the bottom there. And what I'm also going to do is put a little bit of comfrey in, this, in the roots, where the roots are as well. Just as a little experimentation. That should be enough. Don't want to overdo it. See, the rest of it can go somewhere else. Put it on the top of there. That's a good idea. Bloody sirens. Right, anyway, back onto this. So I'm going to sink it into the ground there. By just doing the, the usual and filling it up. I'll just grab one of these pots here as well. It just makes life a little bit easier. That's it, better, much better. Right. I must make a note, I need to get some more compost. And that'll just slip straight out of there, into the hole. This is um, Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Good old Shirl. Right, so that's that in there. Yeah, that's it, like I was saying, um, feed from there, water from there, it'll all be good. Just find the uh, bamboo cane, but I'll not bore you with that, so I'm going to crack on with a few more jobs. Well, I'm done for the day. I've had enough. It's pointless doing anything outside. I'm not going to show you anything what I've did, apart from what I've showed you already. Because if I did that, I might not have nothing to show you on Bank Holiday Monday. And that would be no good. So, while I get this other trainer on, I'll, I'll talk about the sing-along. It's uh, coming together. Everybody that's set apart already has been put into the mix. And it sounds great. I can't wait to get it out. Um, I'm just waiting on a few more people. Like I say, I'll give them, I'm going to give them until Sunday. And then 
I'll just sing the rest of the bits that need doing. Probably. I didn't really want to appear on the video at all. But needs must and all that kind of thing. So like I say, the sing-along is coming along good. And it should be ready within the next fortnight, fingers crossed. So, as you can see, I've got my guitar. I haven't played this for a while. I, I forgot it was here. It's still in tune. What about that? Awesome. <laughs> oh, how could I forget? Before I go, remember the other day I got a tattoo I showed you? Nil, nil carborundum. Well, I've got another one. <laughs> I got it yesterday. Check it out. Venom! Now you might wonder why. Well, eventually I'm going to get a, a sleeve of band logos going all the way up my arm. It's going to look mint. But there it is, Venom. And you see that top bit there of the V? Paula did that. Paula was allowed to tattoo me on. So if you want to see a little clip of me being tattooed from Paula, go and check check out her little video that she's uploaded on her uh, channel. And subscribe to Paula if you want as well. There you go. Check it out. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway... V Venom! So I'm gonna like, 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 leave you on a little song before I get along. The sky's crying, look at the tears fall down the street. myself home now. Oh shit. I'm gonna get myself some of the heat. So that's it folks. Until the next time. See you all later and thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing. Cause it's all good in the hood. So until next time, folks.